Khao Yai National Park is home to some of Thailand's most spectacular natural forests. But many of the exotic plants and animals the World Heritage listed park has become famous for are in danger of extinction, their numbers decimated by decades of poaching. Nguyen Muan Chan started poaching when she was 15. Her target wasn't animals, it was aloe wood, which contains a valuable resin used in perfumes. It's a dangerous way to make a living, but Nguyen's family was poor, and she saw poaching as her only means of survival. กลุ่มเป้าหมายที่ที่เราจะชักชวนให้เข้ามาร่วมกิจกรรมมันก็คือจะเป็น Nguyen's life changed when she began growing mushrooms as part of the Surviving Together program set up by Freeland Foundation, which promotes sustainable farming as an alternative for poaching dependent communities. Nguyen begins work long before daybreak. In one of the huts specially built for mushroom cultivation, she monitors the progress of her crops, trims the stalks of the mature mushrooms, and prepares batches for delivery. Each morning, Freeland staff collect the mushrooms from Nguyen and others who have joined the Alternative Livelihood program and take them to market. A percentage of the money earned is deposited in bank accounts so the villagers can save and invest their earnings in expanding their businesses. Freeland helps with planning, training, startup costs, and marketing for people new to mushroom growing. <laughs> Nguyen's business is thriving, and she's become a role model in encouraging other poachers to stop exploiting the forests. Somai Kunok used to poach bamboo and rattan from Khao Yai. Now, she too is a mushroom farmer. <laughs> Nguyen also convinced Boonrod Muan Chan to give up poaching and join the program. Before starting the Surviving Together initiative, Freeland researched the economic viability of different types of agricultural products so the program would be sustainable. They discovered that mushrooms are in high demand throughout the year in Thailand. We soon cannot meet the market demand, so we need to expand this project to the other villages, which they are kind of in the border of Khao Yai, there are still a lot of poachers. So we're gonna go get into that point. So our target group is the poachers to turn them into the other legal income. They also want to send a strong signal to people who continue to poach that they face severe penalties. Regular freeland training courses equip forest rangers with the skills they need to patrol safely and effectively. The trainings increase their ability to prevent, detect and respond to crimes against nature, enhancing forest protection. Poaching may take years to eradicate, but the success of programs like Surviving Together and participants like Nguyen have shown that protecting natural forests and alleviating poverty go hand in hand. รู้สึกภูมิใจค่ะคือมองไปทางไหนเนี่ยในใจเราก็บอกโอ้มีแต่สีเขียวในบ้านก็มีแต่สีขาวกับสีดําคือเห็ดภูฐานมีกําลังใ
แต่มันก็มีความสุขคือไม่ต้องไปตัดไม้ทำลายป่าเราขาวสะอาดPersuading more people to give up poaching remains a major challenge, one that requires hard work and startup support, but which will provide lasting benefit for vulnerable communities and the environments in which they live. <laughs>